Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and once again I am with Quality Old Games here to do another 1v1 video of Cataphracts versus Praetorian Cohorts today. Five versus five. Let's see who makes it out alive. That actually rhymed. But welcome back, Quality Old Games. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks. I have to be here once again. And of course, guys, go and subscribe to Quality Old Games. Go and give him some love because he has a fantastic channel. Most of the videos or a lot of the videos are 1v1s, but there's also Let's Plays on there as well. So go and check those out. But are we ready to go? Good to go. Yes. Let's see. Cataphrax versus these boys. And we're going straight in. We're going straight in. Let's have a go. Come on, the Cataphrax boys. Not, not a synchronized charge again, but... Doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, so initially, guys, we're, we're trying not to use too many tactics. But after the first charge, after then, we're going to start using tactics. So we'll see what happens on the first charge. Um, but yeah, I think your Praetorians are going to be pretty strong. <laughs> That's scary looking charts coming on. Yeah. Let's see. They're so slow, but then when they get the charge, they do do pretty... Oh, that was quite good. Okay, charge wise one actually broke one of them broke yeah oh jeez my guys are losing a lot of men but uh yeah i think it's time for to recharge boys <laughs> the battle of karai right here but we don't have horse archers <laughs> yeah get away from the jabbies boys get away <laughs> Well, that cataphracts are pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, at least percentage-wise, that was rather good charge. Yeah. Oh, they're coming back. The boys are back. It seems they noticed they don't have any emperors to stab in the back, so they <laughs> yeah. have to get back into the battle. <laughs> The charge is just so brutal. It's such a morale shot. Honestly, I'm quite surprised by how well the cataphracts have done so far. Yeah, and... Uh, I knew they the were numbers, strong. <laughs> yeah, the numbers drop quite fast in the charge yeah. for my unit. I mean, my guys are down... Like they've, They're only half down half as well, which is not that bad. Okay. As I in, like, got, in terms uh, of... Two thirds. Yeah. Honestly, was not expecting them to be this strong, to be fair. Okay. I know, like, I know Cataphracts are OP, but I didn't realize they would be this OP. Let's go. One more. One more charge for the road. <laughs> There is some flanking maneuver. Incoming. Flanking, flanking maneuver incoming. Yeah, that's my the one unit of uh, the one unit of cataphracts that hasn't been quite damaged. Oof! Did you just get? Did, was that Javis you managed to get off there? That was pretty good. Absolutely mm. devastated one of my units. Yeah, though. Most of the units Oof. didn't get any shots off. Wow. Oh, cataphracts. Cataphracts are strong. That was pretty brutal. I was Indeed. not expecting it to be that them, them to be that strong. Because we behind the scenes, guys, we just tried that out with Hetairoi, and the Hetairoi got absolutely mashed up. So if you want a good comparison between Cataphracts and Hetairoi, Cataphracts are stronger, guys. Very much stronger. That was brutal. Indeed. I'm just wondering how much did the Wedge formation affect the Hetairoi attack? Yeah, maybe the Wedge did actually destroy the Hetairoi uh, quite a bit. Um, but should we, should we try that out then with Hetairoi straight away again? And let's see yeah, let's see that. whether it works. Um, yeah. And we will see you guys in a second after this slick edit. <laughs> right, here we are with the Hetairoi and the 
Same guys again, guys. So let's see if the Hetairoi can do anything against the Praetorians. And last time we did use wedge formation, and it really just mashed up the Hetairoi. So let's see what happens here. The companion cav on the way. I should close the gap. Oh, good javy throw. Yeah, you can just see the impact is nowhere near as much. Still a good charge against Praetorians, to be fair, but it's just nowhere near, is it? So I think only the uh, rightmost unit was able to throw the pillar. Yeah, it looks like it. Or at least gets a proper throw off. Yeah, I did manage to kill a couple of the men, but not too many. So let's come back for a charge once again. So it oh, would seem one. that Vets formation is actually really bad because you yeah. are <laughs> winning this battle as well now. Yeah, wedge formation must be terrible. Like, it just doesn't work. Maybe it's good in, in the back of units, but still. After this, I don't know why you would use it. <laughs> yeah. Decent charges again, but I think... Yeah, the Hetairoi, they're good, but they're just not quite cataphracts, are they? Yeah, at least the casualties are much more even now. Yeah. If we, like, if the Hetairoi stayed in the fight, they'd easily lose. It's just the damage they do on the charge. Can they... Can they beat beat them with the cycled charges? I don't know. It's going to be close anyway, isn't it? It's going to be... I think it's going to come down to morale once again. Yeah. Uh, do they have only one hit point, or do they have the several? The Hetairoi, I think they have one. Let's have a look. I'll have a look now. Yeah, just one. But they've got okay. 29 defense, so they've got a decent amount of defense. Staggered lines now, staggered lines. Yeah, actually... Seem to work quite well. Ooh. Without any commands. Okay, general's gone. I, think I guess the Hetairoi are quite quite strong as well. Then Jesus, like that, we didn't even do any flanking there either. It was just pounding into the front lines. So, yeah, I think the Hetairoi is showing that they are a very strong cavalry. Well, they should be a strong cavalry unit. They are companion cav after all. Um, but honestly, wasn't expecting them to be quite as strong. Now we do the flanking. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Actually, but. I think. Um they might have fared a bit better than those cataphracts. Actually. Yeah, maybe. I guess they start with 60, 60 in the unit, though, rather than um, uh, rather than the cataphracts only start with 40. Yeah. So I think the cataphracts lost, what was it, 80, 18, was it 80, 90 men? Something like that? Yep, something like that. So let's uh, see what see what the Hetairoi say. 126. So... Yeah. Yeah, maybe they lost less, but maybe they had more percentage-wise still because they have a start with a larger unit. Yeah, percentage-wise, I think that was quite similar. Yeah, uh, very similar. Bit. Yeah. But God, I I genuinely, I wasn't expecting those Hetairoi to uh, to beat them because of the <laughs> cause of the wedge formation debacle that we had earlier. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I guess cavalry stronger than infantry. Who would have guessed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but unless any... you are using wedge formation yeah unless you're using wedge formation then infantry destroys cavalry <laughs> uh, yeah. but yeah cool that was that was pretty cool that was good to find out anyway um so if you guys are out there struggling to beat rome in your campaigns just charge them with cataphracts or hetairoi <laughs> simple <laughs> <laughs> and not even any tactics needed. No, not even any tactics. Just charge straight into it. But yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty strong. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you to Quality Old Games uh, for joining us again. And like I say, go and check his channel out. Go and subscribe. Go and like his videos. That'd be fantastic. And I will see you all again on the next video.